Okay, so when does the time for ghusl begin on the day of Jum'ah? Now, this is the issue where the scholars have differed. Uh, most of the scholars have said it begins after Salat al-Fajr. And the evidence for that is because the Messenger of Allah said uh, the timings have been split out into five hours between Fajr and the Jum'ah itself. And if a person comes in the first hour, he will get the reward of sacrificing a camel. If he comes in the second hour, he gets the reward of sacrificing a cow. And if he comes in the fifth hour, he gets the reward of sacrificing an egg. Well known hadith. So they have said a person should make ghusl and go out to the Jum'ah prayer as early as possible. So as long as he has done the ghusl on the day of Jum'ah, uh, then, you know, at the earliest hour, then that is sufficient. Then he has, com- he has fulfilled what was commanded. Uh, the Malikiyah have said that it begins after Zawal time. Now you can see how this is probably a little bit difficult because today's Zawal is about 10 past 1 and the Salah is about 20 past 1. Um, so he's only got like a 10 minute window. So the Malikiyah have said that a person should do it as well. And the reason why is because the person is about to congregate and if he's going to congregate then he should congregate in the best possible manner with the best possible appearance, with the best possible smell, etc. So they have said that it should be uh, just before the Salah itself. And there are certain narrations where it has been narrated that Messenger of Allah وسلم, he came out and his uh, beard and his hair was dripping, etc. For me, what seems to be the more correct view is that the person, now the essence of the reason why the ghusl uh, has been commanded is so that the person congregates with his Muslim brothers in the best possible manner, in clothing, in appearance, in, in smell, etc. So the issue here is that the person should perform the ghusl uh, fulfilling that essence. So if he's able to do the ghusl before he goes out for the salah, then this is what he should do. But if a person is at work or, or something in that manner, if he establishes the ghusl after salat al-fajr on the day of Jum'ah itself, then he has fulfilled uh, the command there. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he purifies our internal as well as our external. Allahu alayhi wa sallam.